Italy's revolving political door is on the move again. After just 10 tentative months in power, the Prime Minister Enrico Letta at his last cabinet meeting, the victim of a coup inside his own party's ranks. The grab for power came from 39-year-old Matteo Renzi, who has gained a nickname for his style as mayor of Florence. Il Rotamatore, the scrapper. It's been said his role model is Tony Blair. The leader of the centre-left Democratic Party, he's determined to move it to the middle ground. And while he's at it, demolish the old political institutions, which have brought Europe's third largest economy to the brink of bankruptcy. What we expect, Italy is expecting from him, is at least six months of full power as a government, not as a party leader, not thinking about ideology or transformation of his party, its uh, laws, decrees, decisions, the economy, etc. To the weary, ordinary citizens of Rome, though, the spectacle looks like just another political Groundhog Day. Pessima. It's bad. It's a really bad idea. Nothing will change. They're all the same. What program does Renzi have? We don't know what his policies are. He'll go there, and what will he do? One prime minister takes our money, another arrives, and they take more. I don't understand what will change. I hope something will change. Whoever takes charge, though, will have to deal with unemployment now at a 40-year high in Italy and the ever-present political quagmire. There has been some good news on the economic front, though. Latest figures just released show that Italy's GDP edged upward by 0.1%. And there's been no market turmoil here like we usually see on occasions like this. The brokers obviously think Renzi's good for business. The next man who will be calling to meet the 88-year-old president, Giorgio Napolitano, could turn out to be Italy's youngest ever prime minister. Maybe it really is out with the old and in with the new this time.